So what is anamorphic? Said no sane person ever. So what's going on in my YouTube feed on my phone? So here, MMA talk, Conor McGregor promises, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Alex travels for work. I don't know, I was at one point watched one video of her and, and then I'm getting like a million. I don't wanna say that's kind of annoying, but it's not really, I don't know, whatever. Why young Russian people don't like the current government? Elon Musk talks about colonizing the galaxy. Huh, here's a good one. When does it make sense to buy a brand new car? Finally, something that is addressing a concern, a practical concern. Ooh, morphogene versus R-bar. Similarities, differences, and why you need to have both. Damn, do I need to have both? Yeah, so what I was thinking of doing was actually bringing the modular out here, and as usual with this brain of mine, it gets sidetracked. I often think it would be cool if there could be maybe like three exact replicas of me that were all kind of hooked in. I mean, I would be still kind of in charge. Maybe even five. Could get so much stuff done five times less the stress. That'd be pretty cool. Of course, it would probably cost five times more, or we'd all have to live in this house, and there's just one bathroom. Oh yeah, my brother, he always suggests that you should live in a place with two bathrooms. Um, so five of us plus Claudine plus Billy Joe. I mean, Billy Joe does have his little litter box. He rarely uses the toilet, but still, Claudine, then me, and if it's copies of me, then right before you need to leave, that's when it's time to go to the bathroom. Five of us. I mean, at least in theory, since we're the same person, we'd be pretty comfortable, like, maybe all <laughs> together in the bathroom. Could get a bunch of buckets and just, like, maybe plan, plan what we're gonna do in the day of work that lies ahead, and then just pour all the buckets into the toilet. Have to make sure that the Plumbing is good though, because I mean, that would be five times as much uh, waste, and it could potentially clog up the toilet. We'd probably need to work on a better ventilation system as well, but we're just renting here. There is a hole underneath the bathtub, so maybe that will also let the odor kind of waft into the house, and then the mice will purify it with their, uh, I mean, mice are kind of like trees of the sewers and the inner walls. They breathe in toxic fumes and poop out clean air fart out clean air. But yeah, anyway, I'm digressing. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool to have five. I mean, I guess what would be really cool was that I could at any given moment just multiply and then reunite. Um, so I could be like a whole crew. I could actually even act. Like right now, I would be filming myself while I'm acting, while the other me is preparing the lights, while the other me is preparing the synth. I mean, it would be amazing. Somebody should work on that instead of wasting our time with like trying to save the environment because imagine if you could like multiply yourself i mean yes there would be more people and that would be potentially problematic for the environment but it could also mean that we could clean up so much more like for example say you want to go to the beach and you have a picnic you just feed a copy of yourself before that and you say next time it'll be your turn and you go to the beach and then you can like throw everything like all your garbage just leave it around but your other self will pick it up for you so you can really have a good time without having to torture yourself being a environmentally friendly. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you're trying to have a baby, how cool would that be? Increase your chances by five, you just have like a, a whole little army of you, well, I mean, up to five, let's say, no, no, because no, then it would be too much, I think we'd run out of space in, in most major cities. Of course, then your partner could also multiply, so maybe, I wonder if it'd be cool for people who have twins, I mean, nobody's really expecting twins who have twins, and of course, people love their twins too, but you discover that you have twins, but then, by using a reverse firmware version of the superpower, you could fuse a twin into one and save quite a lot of money. If you're in the States, like imagine how much you'd save on college tuition, medical bills and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, uh, try to share so that uh, Elon Musk uh, catches wind of it and quits uh, this crap of like colonizing the galaxy and building flamethrowers and smoking joints and focus on something that really matters, which is giving you the power to multiply yourself. I mean, the neural link could come in handy there, I guess, to kind of communicate with your copies if you don't want to go with the kind of esoteric uh, hippie granola telepathy. It's like, oh, we're in sync because we're on the same energy wavelength and whatnot. No, 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 you put a fucking chip in there with the blood and everything and you program it and you can hack other people. I mean, that's the way to go. That's, that's punk, that's cool. None of this, uh, oh yeah, our stars align because we're one and the same, we're all part of the same cosmic blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, um, hmm. Yeah, food for thought. It's a cool idea. I think I'm gonna go write it down so I don't forget it.
this uh, little pseudo episode of Reading with Robin is way more cinematic than all the other ones uh, you've seen. And you were wondering why there was something slightly different, you could really couldn't put your finger on it. An anamorphic lens, so we're talking cinema here, like this. You, could, you should basically be paying to watch this because you're just entertained because of the cinematic, cinematicness of, of the image that you're seeing. I mean, this is cinema. That was the secret of, of cinema. It's not like brilliant collaboration between hundreds of individuals, super talented actors. No, no, no. It's shooting anamorphic. That's the thing you need to do. If you're not doing it, I mean, you're a fucking hobbyist, poser, rookie wannabe, scrub. So, anamorphic, serious cinema. Hopefully it's in focus. But even if it's out of focus, oh yeah, I mean, I, I guess I should do the, like the little, uh, it's what everybody does when, when they get an anamorphic lens, is like shine a, a light into the lens and be like, oh, check the flare, it's sideways. How cool is that? <laughs> cinema line. Oh, I wonder why it's green though. They're normally announced as blue. Maybe I should just leave the flashlight pointing at it if it's gonna like flare in this cool way. There we go, cinema. J.J. Abrams, Reading with Robin. Reading with Robin, directed by J.J. Abrams. Lost. They don't make uh, vlogs like this anymore. Back in the day, when it was all shot on film, 35 millimeter vlogs, that's when people knew where it was at. Then uh, quality standards took a rather serious dip, but here I am doing my best effort to bring you cinema at your breakfast table, on your phone, or wherever you may watch expanded cinema. So what is anamorphic? Said no sane person ever. Well, anamorphic is the secret ingredient of the cinematic. Anamorphic looks like this. Whoa. But then we scrunch it up to look like this. And what do we have? Instant cinema, no matter what. So now that that's clear, let's move on. This idea of multiple copies of yourself. I mean, how cool would that be? You could work your ass off at the same time, simultaneously going on a vacation and relaxing. Yeah, this is brilliant. You could pretty much just set up a whole, a whole cinema crew, like act all the parts. I mean, of course, everybody's kind of identical copies of each other, which is maybe weird visually, but I mean, aren't we all just like a bunch of imitators? I mean, if you remember one of my previous episodes reading, of Reading with Robin, where I was speaking of René Girard, it's basically speaking how mimesis is the basis of all human interaction and problems in society and whatnot. So we all basically want to be Kim Kardashian or something. It would take a little while getting used to it, but eventually we would just be like, yeah, cool. I like seeing the same person. And then like when yourself comes in, it's like, oh, I really like this guy. Th th this one's my favorite, and then somebody else is like, oh, pointing at another version of yourself who's maybe wearing a hat. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, I really hope they get together too. And you wouldn't even be stealing the part of anybody else because everybody could just do whatever they wanted because you could just multiply, get all the parts, create the parts, and get the parts. Yeah, I mean, this is really the solution to so many things. I'm sure nothing could go wrong. We should totally, totally get on it. Have I introduced you to my best friend, the chair? That's what that's like, 2021. If you're seeing this in 2030 or whenever, yeah, 2021, people became friends with chairs. So I guess I'm gonna go for a run. Uh, clear the head, write some ideas down. It's been great talking to you again. Feel inspired, motivated. I just got refreshed, resourced, ready to tackle, tackle this year together from afar, I guess. Or we could sneak and see each other, maybe, wearing masks. I feel like I need a vacation. I feel like we all need a vacation. I feel like we all need a great vacation together, hugging, dancing, drinking, telling great stories. I mean, that's what it used to be about. And then of course, uh, somebody had to sneeze on a bat or whatever, or get sneezed on by a bat. And here we are now.